That was an unforgettable Rams. show. Wow. You have lots of hidden talents. Katya, I have kept silent for too long, nearby. but now I simply must talk. I have to warn you about the bug. He is incredibly disgusting. What did I miss? Nice you should have seen them dance. Yes, no, indeed. Don't worry. You'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Duke, Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. And after a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained <laughs> and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <laughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, everyone. Yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, Prince. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to, to be, be my, my spouse. spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better you from this day forward. For better or for worse. For, 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 for richer, <coughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness, in sickness and, and in health. health. To love and to cherish until death to us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 So that might be the reason. Katya, Artyom, a few words. I'm all right, Artyom. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. Uh, I get up today. So, son, care to tell me what Arno, do we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it My been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Ah, oh, Anna carved out some blood. My god. Do you really think it's the scent? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... 
What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our estate worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Good girl. Now I understand why she was so down with me. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. So, what is the Ha <laughs> Here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you if it is needed. Mm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantau. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right, a toast to you guys. Just be happy together. Stefan, will you play that song about <sighs> us? Easy as pie. <sighs> Если будет не 
ночей Пора вернуть эту землю себе Этот поезд в огне И нам не на что больше жать Этот поезд в огне И нам некуда больше бежать Эта земля была нашей Пока мы не увязли в борьбе Она умрет, если будет ничьей Пора вернуть эту землю себе This is definitely about us. There's even a kernel in it. Yes, it is time we took this land back. And one more thing. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamantau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me! Pick me! I'll check the hell out of that valley, please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to present Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with the brother. Ah, cut it out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. Hmm. You said envy was a bad thing, Nastya. Hmm? But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart girl like you. Dad. Don't dad me. A 20-year-old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you teach them CQC. Dual-wielding pistols. <laughs> <laughs> I can come visit you. Of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporty. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in metro. Darkness, TB, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. And that dead note, how about a drink? To repopulation of Earth. Two kids. Yes! To children! To children! Wow! The stuff is strong! One more toast! To the new colony! May it grow and prosper! To the new colony! To the new colony! <laughs> so smooth! And oh. having more women join it! of the gods! <laughs> Alyosha, I never doubted you. Yes, oh, Alyosha. I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful, there will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survive too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. To love! To, to love! love! Whoa! This is okay. great! Just like home, huh? Oh, great! <laughs> it's your turn, Artyom. Come on, impress us. This heat is just unbearable, I must say. <laughs> 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 